Uh, well, I've been <laughs> dragging my feet on reviewing this. I've had this for a few weeks now, and... <sighs> Honestly, I'm kind of tired of the Hogan figures. We've gotten a lot of Hogan figures this year, and I'm kind of burnt out with the Hogans. Kind of tired of them. But, I don't know, maybe this set might change my mind? Before I go any further, just want to quickly say Robert Kinney, Peyton Ponce, Heather Pedraza, and Cody Rhodes fan, you have been acknowledged. And Z Quack, thank you for that comment. That means more to me than you probably know. Today, I am finally looking at the Ultimate Edition Coliseum Collection, Hulk Hogan and Terry Funk. We get this really cool packaging of this drawing of Hogan on the front. We get Funk and Hogan on the side, and then a drawing of Terry Funk on the back. We get a quote from Hogan on top, a quote from Funk on the bottom. The packaging is pretty simple to open from the front, revealing the figures inside the packaging, although you only see Hogan in front. And then the inside of the packaging has this really cool retro design. Then the figures himself have this really cool card, nice big window box displaying the figure. Very cool throwback design here. The back also has a nice retro look that shows us images of both figures, the accessories that are included, some more information. Now as beautiful as the packaging is and as much as I would love to keep them in the packaging, this is a review so we're gonna go ahead and open these up and take a closer look at Hulk Hogan and Terry Funk. Here is a 360 look at both figures out of the packaging. They feature some nice detail and they come with a ton of accessories that include horn hands for Terry Funk, a gripping hand and fisted hand. The matching hands are already on the figure. And then Funk comes with two additional head sculpts. This one here has his mouth slightly open, teeth shown. The paint is not that great. You could see some extra paint residue on the cheek here, some white on the eyebrows, and a little bit off to the side on the eyes, so that's a little bit disappointing. Aside from that, it is sculpted well. I think it has a good likeness to Terry Funk from this time period. Hair looks really good. The paint on the facial hair looks good, but yeah, those extra specs. Probably can come off, but kind of annoying. And then the second extra head sculpt is this open mouth one, which looks really good. The open mouth expression is sculpted well. The paint on the teeth and the tongue looks good. Facial hair looks good. The eyes look good. Eyebrows, hair sculpted nicely. Hogan comes with some open hands, gripping hands, and pointing hands. And then he comes with two additional head sculpts. We've get this smiling one here. Great representation of 80s Hogan. Not brand new. We saw this with the 80s Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan from WrestleMania that came out earlier this year. Sculpted really well. Paint looks really good. So if you have that other Ultimate Edition, then you should know what to expect with this head sculpt. And then he's got another head sculpt that is very, very similar to the one I just showed. In fact, go ahead and see them side by side. So yeah, very similar. This one on the right is smiling. This one, it's more of a snarling face. It is sculpted well. It's painted well. It looks good. Uh, is this brand new? Because I did not get the Comic-Con exclusive No Holds Barred Hogan. So I don't know if this this one came with that, I can't remember off the top of my head. But I do like it, just would have preferred something a little bit more of a variation than these two. They are very similar. Here looks good. Good paintwork and good sculpt work. Looking at Terry Funk, we see this really cool entrance gear that he is wearing. He's got this hat sculpted really well, got red paint around the brim of the hat, can come off real easily. He's got a red poncho that is a soft goods material, really nice, can come off easily. He has a branding iron that is in his hand, can come off easily, is sculpted pretty well, not a whole lot of detail or paint, not that it really needs it, but it serves its purpose, it looks nice. And then he's got some chaps here, that is a soft goods material, so that is nice. I like the red fringes right here, very nice. Like the detailing on the chaps, look good. So they look nice, I like the entrance attire that he has, and there's Velcro on the back, so you can take this off easily. The head sculpt that is on the figure is sculpted very well. I think it has a good likeness to Terry. One eye is slightly more open than the other. The face is painted very well, looks really good. So I really like how this turned out. Then looking at the body, we get the Ultimate Edition body with the butterfly joints, double jointed elbows that are pinless. Although, elites have them now as well. I think the torso looks pretty good. I think it's a fine fit for Terry Funk. You got red trunks, some black knee pads, some red and black boots. Painted very well, looks really good. So overall, nice looking Ultimate Terry Funk. But I really like the entrance and tire that he comes with. 
that's really nice. Then looking at Hulk Hogan, we see his entrance gear and the WWE Championship belt that's around his waist that can come off. We'll look at that in a second. We get the white Hulkamania t-shirt. Looks really good. Printing looks nice. Get the rips on the back. That looks good. Red headband on the head skull can't come off, but I'll just leave it on. And his cross necklace. These are all removable. You can take these off, so go ahead and do that. Then look at the WWE Championship belt. I do believe this is the first time we are getting this in the Mattel line. Don't remember ever seeing this. This is really nice. It's supposed to be green. I'm pretty sure all images that I've seen have always been green. So I don't know if the actual belt was ever black at any point. I am assuming this is based off the original version of the figure. The original figure that this one is based off, that belt had a black strap instead of green. So I would assume that that's what this is supposed to replicate. So that's nice. Still would have been cool to have a green version, but there's not a whole lot of detail on this. In fact, the plates on the side are just gold plates, nothing else. Not a whole lot of detail on the middle plate, but it's still nice to have this. Then look at the head sculpt. This is not brand new. We saw this with the previous Ultimate Edition 80s Hogan. Sculpted well, painted well. I think it looks nice. Although, to be honest, I'm probably going to use this head sculpt on the figure. And again, the necklace is right here. Now to take this off, you're going to have to pop the head off. And there you go, it went flying. In fact, let's put this one on. Yeah, not too bad, I like that. I'll, I'll probably have this head sculpt on the figure. No, I don't have that original Ultimate Edition 80s Hogan on me right now. It's here somewhere, but I'm pretty certain this is the exact same body. It looks just like it, and it's a good body. I think this is a great torso for 80s Hogan. So if you have that previous one, you know what to expect with this. The difference is, instead of the yellow trunks, he's got red trunks. Instead of red knee pads, he's got white knee pads and white boots. So, nice color scheme. I like this. And you know what else is pretty good? The articulation. The head looks slightly up. That far down can turn side to side and tilt pretty well. Shoulder goes that high up, rotates all the way around, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, a swivel and hinge at the wrist, beautiful butterfly joints, ball joint at the upper diaphragm, he crunches that far forward, goes that far back, can tilt, waist swivel, legs go that far out, that high up, thigh cut, double jointed knees, a cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes, uh, should go up but it's a bit tight on mine, oh, there you go, that far down, he's got slight ankle pivot and toe articulation. Funk's articulation is as follows, the head goes that high up, that far down, can't turn side to side, tilt, like so, shoulder goes that high up, rotates all the way around, biceps swivel, double jointed elbows, a swivel and hinge at the wrist, butterfly joints, ball joint at the upper diaphragm, so he goes that far forward, that far back, can pivot up there, tilt, waist swivel, legs go that far out, that high up, thigh cut, double jointed knees, a cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, that far down. He's got slight ankle pivot and toe articulation. Alright, so after opening these up, messing around with them, holding Hogan in my hands, yeah, I kind of did change my mind a little bit. I do like this set, but again, I'd be lying if I said Hogan fatigue wasn't settling in and one of the reasons why I was just dragging my feet on reviewing this. We've gotten way too many Hogans this year. I think a Hogan break would be nice. Although the, there is that Mr. America coming out pretty soon. That one actually looks pretty cool. But aside from that, let's give Hogan a break. I do think this set is worth getting. I would have preferred maybe Terry Funk to be separate. Or at least have a separate option so you didn't have to buy the two as a set. Because 70 bucks is... That's, that can be a lot. So, But not a bad set. Not a bad set of figures. So if you are interested in these, these are still available on Mattel Creations. Not sure how much longer they'll be up there, but if you're interested, not a bad set of figures to get. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you're still watching this video and you're wondering why I'm not uploading as much, I've just been kind of burnt out with making videos, buying figures. So hopefully I can get a little rest and relaxation and revitalize my motivation to do some more videos. So that way I can still bring out more content for you guys. So just bear with me. And those of you ha who have been watching, who constantly leave comments, thank you. I appreciate it. Aslan Fulgore, you're always commenting on my videos. I greatly appreciate that. 
You are amazing. Everyone else who asks to be acknowledged, I will always acknowledge you. I appreciate the support. On those days and weeks where I'm just not feeling it, not feeling like I want to do any more videos, when you leave comments like that, I appreciate it a lot. It doesn't go unnoticed. Kind of rambling now, so I'll just end the video. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.